Hello! It is us, the Hairy Game Lords, that we have been playing this evening. Everdell. Ooh. What did we think? Find out. Bearded lady, and uh, we played Everdale, Everdale tonight. What did I think of it? Well, I enjoyed the game. Uh, it, uh, it's kind of like a hand management, resource management, placing, worker placement. Thanks, Hipster King, for that. I love, uh, I love the artwork on it. I mean, look at the look at the box art. Beautiful. Uh, so I really enjoyed the artwork um, and the theming. Uh, all the components are lovely. Uh, so it was good. There was this kind of thing where you're kind of effectively building. You're working pretty much on your own, uh, building through a kind of like a, up a tableau um, and uh, and just kind of working through. It, it gets a little bit take that -y, um if uh, somebody might take a card that you are saving up for, um, or there are some nasty cards which were played, and it was tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll let the others uh, talk about that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like the game a lot, and um, I would have it in my collection, but I don't need to because the Hipster King has got it in his. So beauty of the hairy game, Lords. We always get to play. Each other's games. Fantastic. So yeah, I would give it a big uh, hairy thumbs up. Hairy. <laughs> so, second play for me of Everdell this evening. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, this game is stunning on the table. Uh, you've got the Evertree, which is where you have your cards underneath and your characters placed on there. In essence, this is com completely unnecessary in the game. But just makes it stand out, and I loved. You know, one of the, one of the reasons it was almost a must buy straight away from me. I do like pretty games. So with that, you've got your your characters that you place. Absolutely beautiful little meeples. There are other ones as well. Um, what I think is what I've never really played a worker placement game other than Mint um, Mint Works. Um, what I really like about this game you start off with just two characters and in essence you've only got two actions because you can only play those characters once on your first turn but but already by the second round if you like you're already building this tableau of cards and that there's almost an almost an engine building going on that you're kind of creating chains of cards that mean that although you've only got to the ability to place two or three or four characters very very quickly the game actually takes on a life of its own which I've not experienced a game like that before so really enjoyed that mechanic um, and again even you know the artwork is just stunning so you can see here on the cards just the quality of the artwork I would say the one downside of the of focusing so much on the artwork is just how small that writing is which at times you know when you're trying to keep track of what all the you know what cards people have got and what things you can do with them and what they can do to you that becomes a little bit difficult and probably three or four plays down the line when we all know the cards a little bit more and what works with what um, will help but the uh, it's just such a beautiful game really enjoyed it and uh, even though I lost no problem at all it was a good game and I'll let Dave tell you exactly what he did that cost me nine points still not happy hi as the uh, newest Harry Game Lord, I guess I'm Dave the Noob, but uh, hey. I can still teach Pete a thing or two, uh, uh -huh. we discovered tonight. So, first impressions of this, uh, looks fantastic as the other guys have said, uh, the board's really nice, the artwork's ace, nice and easy to play as well, because you start off small, um, it kind of teaches you as you go along. So at no point do you feel swamped by the rules. There is some tactics to it. For the most part, you are building your own city. But I did get opportunities um, to stitch Pete up a treat. Um, because your city is limited and you get points for the towns that you build, you can play essentially rubbish cards on other people's cities. And all of a sudden, <laughs> right at the end, it does get a little bit frantic where everybody's rushing for the points 
and if all of a sudden they haven't got space to build all of the things that they carefully planned, it all falls to pieces and I win. So, just for that, big thumbs up from me. Yes. You didn't win though, did you? I no. I you beat, beat me. I beat Pink. Which is a win. That's Which is a win. That's all that really matters. <laughs> Subscribe to us. Do it. Do it now. Otherwise, this the dog, dog gets the it. dog gets it. Woo! Table is just the wonderful. <laughs> I can't say that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wood. It's the minute that you. The minute I heard it. I